channel and thanks for tuning in. So today I'm going to show you how I took two lamps that I absolutely love that were in my master bedroom and with the makeover they didn't quite go with the look I was going for. So I just did a little DIY to them, critiqued them a little bit, bought new lampshades and voila, new lamps. And I could not be happier with the way they turned out. Um, they really, it, it changed them, but not drastically, but just enough. You know what I mean? So if that sounds something like you're interested in, please keep on watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's get to our DIY. Here's the lamp. It's really cute. Nothing wrong with it. Um, and the shade, it's not showing good on camera, but it's actually like a sagey green. And it's beautiful for the right room, but I just feel like, um, I just feel like we can bring it up a notch and make it look better. So, I am going to show you what I did. So, this is the before. And the other lamp is just like it. Um, it's just a different style teapot. I call one, like call this one like the masculine one. And then the other one I have is more feminine. Um, and I bought different lampshades. So, here is the before. Like I said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Cute. But we're going to take it up a notch, make it fit this room. Okay, so here's my lamp that I'm going to make over. Like I said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this lamp. I love the shade. I love the lamp. I just think that I can make it look a little bit better for my room. So, what I'm going to be using today is I'm going to be using this Waverly paint called Antique Wax. Okay. I bought this little three pack of brushes, the full cart three, three pack brushes. Here's what they are. And I'm going to use the smaller brush. Like that. I just have a paper plate and some paper towel. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna first I'm gonna remove my shade because we're I've bought new shades, so I'm not gonna need these shades. Okay, put that to the side. And here I am. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I've wiped my lamp down good, so I've cleaned it up, got any kind of dust off of it. I'm just gonna pour me some of this paint in this plate. It's a little bit of paint right there. And then I'll take my, I think this is, yeah, the smaller brush out of the three pack. And I have just, just have this old, um, I just have an old, it's actually an old Christmas. I didn't do anything with it. Placemat, I'm just gonna put over my table. I mean, this is a water base, so it will clean up if you get it on you, so. But, okay, what I want to do is I want to antique it and make it, I, wanted, I want some of the silver to come through, but I want it to be more antiqued and more, um, just not so bright and silver. So, I'm really going to play up all the detail. I got these lamps years ago um, from Belt. They were the Jane Seymour collection and I think they were regularly I think they were regularly like seventy dollars each and they were half off so I basically got two lamps for the price of one and I love them I love these lamps um I love everything about them so I definitely want to use them but I just want to upcycle them I guess you could say so what I'm gonna do and I've already done one just to kind of get an idea of what I wanted to do so I could show y'all. So what I did was I just took my paint and I'm just going to kind of paint it and get it all in there. And I'm basically going to cover this whole leg. I started with the legs. Okay. And I 
to get it all in there. Oh, there's some dust I missed. And I just really Over get these it all legs. In. Get all in the little crevices where we want all that. I want it to look old and aged. That's my that's my plan. Old and aged. So I just get in there. You do not have to be precise because like I said, we want some of the, the patina to show through. So then what I did, I just started painting this on. And it does not have to be perfect because we're gonna use our paper towel and we're gonna come take some of the excess off. So we're basically just wanting to get the color on. You'll notice I am not being precise at all. And I absolutely love this. Okay, so then I'm gonna take one of my paper towels and I'm just gonna start blotting. And I wanna take most of my paint off. But I definitely don't want to leave my paper towel imprint on there. I'm gonna do that on the legs as well. It's okay if it stays a little darker because it has the most detail, but we are gonna get the excess paint. And the good thing about this technique is, um, sorry, I got the sniffles. Um, once you get done, if there's somewhere you need to touch up, you can. If there's, um, oh, I got that all over my paper. If you need to add, you can. I always save this part for last. I always try to do my body first. Like I said, I am not being precise. We're basically just antiquing it, and it's okay that some of the, the silver shows through. I'm good with that. I want that. do the same thing. Start taking the excess off. And I'm just, we're just distressing it. Now what I said about we don't want our paper towel design to show through. Can you see where my, you can see where my paper towel design is right here? I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do away with that. We don't want that. Okay, so now I'm going to start working on this part. it before I bought it a while back with some ideas and I never used it and then I started playing with it and I just love it because it can just change the look of anything Okay. 
Bang some buster. <laughs> the life of a YouTuber. Your buster out there. Okay. Now that I've done this, oh, see, I see where I missed some spots, but I can go back and fix that. Okay, now I'm going to start working on the detail. I'm going to really get in there because that's what we want to do. to refill this because I don't have anything I can use. Taking my paper towel. Doing the same thing with this. So I'm going to finish this project and then I'm going to show you the finished look with the new lampshades. But you get the idea. You literally just put it on, blot it off. And if there's any spots that I have to go back over, I'll show you that. screws on to the top of the shade, the screws the shade on. So, let's do that. show you the other lamp which is finished with the lampshade. If you see how the, the difference and then this is the lampshade I fought for it and then this is the top. And that's what that looks like. So, now I will let the other lamp dry, and then um, I'll go put it in the room. Actually, I see, let me get this one back over here. I see a couple of spots that I'm not real happy with. Hold on.
Okay. Next, you'll see them um, when I have them in the room. And here is the finished product in my room. And to me, that looks so much better than the other lamp shade and the antique on the lamp. And on this side, here's this lamp. Let me move this picture. It just looks so much better, in my opinion. Just a little bit of details. All right, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to maybe make over something that you already have that's maybe not quite working for you anymore and you can make it new again. So until next time, y'all have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye.